How to Make Friends, a lesson on what skills can help you make friends, part one. Getting to know others is the best way to start making friends. As you get to know others, a feeling of connection and belonging will help you to identify who would be a good friend. We get to know others by having conversations with them. This sounds simple, but there is a lot of different skills you need to use when having a conversation. The skills we are going to talk about are listening, asking questions, giving compliments, keeping the conversation going, body language, tone of voice, and ending the conversation. In part one, we will cover listening, asking questions, and giving compliments. Let's begin. I know, I know. Why are grown-ups always talking about listening? Because we all, even the grown-ups, need to get better at it. Do you feel like grown-ups are good at listening to you? Maybe you can help them by teaching some of them these skills. Listening when getting to know someone or talking to a friend is a little different than listening at school. We still need to focus our attention on the person that is speaking. Look them in the eye or at their nose. Turn off your mouth and turn on your ears. At school, we are usually listening in order to follow directions or we are being taught something. This is called informational listening. This type of listening is all about what you will gain if you listen. Listening during a conversation is more about what you can give. You are listening during a conversation to make a connection by understanding what they are thinking and feeling. Asking questions during a conversation lets the other person know that you are listening to what they are saying and care enough to want to know more. You can ask a question to get more details. What's your dog's name? Or to make sure you understand what they're thinking or feeling. I don't like milk or cheese. They make me sick. So that's why you don't like pizza? Giving compliments helps others feel valued. When we notice something positive about someone else and then give them a compliment, it helps them feel like they matter to others. I like your new backpack. It's green, your favorite color. Thanks. Wow, he remembered that my favorite color is green. Giving compliments helps others feel appreciated. You are the best at pushing me on the swing. I'm going so high. I feel good that he appreciates me pushing him. There are five things to know about compliments. One, it has to be sincere. In other words, you really mean it. Your cat is so cute. Sincere. Your cat is so cute. Sincere. Number two, pay attention. Be on the lookout for new or good things. Miss Miller, I like your new hair color. Uh, thanks, but it's not new. It's been this color for two weeks. Did they pay attention? Mr. Jones, I like your new glasses. Thanks. This is the first time I've worn them. Paying attention? Third, be specific. That means use specific details in your compliments. 
That's cool. What's cool? That's cool how you use those two great pieces together to make the wing. That had a lot of good detail and was much more specific. Number four, do it often. Complimenting others helps them feel valued and appreciated. An amazing thing happens when you make others feel good. You feel good too. Test it and see. And last, number five, when you get a compliment, say thank you. A compliment is a gift we should always accept and show gratitude for. That covers the first three skills that can help you have a conversation with others, which is the best way to make a friend. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you later. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.